Today I'm gonna show you how to configure Shine Wi-Fi device. First of all press and hold the bottom key for around 8 seconds. Until all the three lights become steady on. Now we can release the button. Next we have wait for 1 minute or so, until the light turns into flashing red. Now we can see from different position. The light showing three colors red, green and blue. Here we just wait. Now we can see it becomes steady green. It means it's switching mode. And still we need to wait for a few seconds. Here we wait again until we observe the light turns into flashing red. Okay, now we can see the light has become flashing red. Next, we can start to configure Shine Phone app. Before configuring we must connect our phone to home Wi-Fi network. Now let's open Shine Phone app and log in my account. We need to fill in the power plant information when we log in at first time. Here we can tap this icon to allow it to recognize the address automatically. Finally we can also select a photo of our plant and upload it to the server. After adding plant we just follow the guide. And scan the QR code of the data logger. Now we tap confirm after recognizing the SN and check code. Here we go to the network configuration. Choose the first one to point for G Hertz. Tap next. Make sure your phone have connected to your home Wi-Fi. Then tap next again. Here we better tap the eye icon and unhide the passcode of your Wi-Fi. In case that we input a wrong character or number. Now we make sure the passcode is correct. Tap configure immediately. Now we see the pop-up window it says. The data logger is already connected to the router and is being connected to the server. Until now we have configured the Shine app and added the data logger successfully. Here we return to the power station and drag down the screen. We will see the status of our power station and a device list below. Here we can see a fault message abnormal. That is because I haven't connected AC power yet. Later I will show you a tip. How to check the data logger connection status. Here we tap the plus icon. Then we choose data logger list. Here we see the last update time is 2020. Comparing to the current time we can almost confirm that the data logger is being online for the time being. Since it updates the data every 5 minutes. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.